The prototype aircraft, Superjet 100, with serial number 95157 and tail number 97012, produced in 2018 and equipped with new domestic PD-8 engines and foreign onboard equipment, will conduct its inaugural test flight in March of this year, according to Anton Alakanov, the new head of the Ministry of Industry and Trade of the Russian Federation. According to A. Alakanov, the Gromov Flight Research Institute is conducting additional flight tests on an upgraded PD-8 engine as part of a flying laboratory based on the IL-76 LL aircraft. As of early February 2025, the IL-76 LL had conducted over 20 flights. The first PD-8 engines have been delivered to the Komsomolsk on Amur aircraft facility for testing on the short-haul Superjet 100 aircraft. It is important to mention that the regional airliner Superjet 100, with serial number 95157, was subjected to testing at the aircraft plant in Komsomolsk on Amur in mid-October 2023. The aircraft was equipped with two domestic PD-8 engines. The prototype was initially intended to be in flight by the end of 2023, and it was equipped with two prototype PD-8 engines with a declared maximum thrust of 8,056 kg force and a bypass ratio of 4.4 and foreign onboard equipment. A second prototype of the SJ-100 aircraft, which is expected to participate in flight tests in May of this year, is equipped with PD-8 engines and domestic onboard equipment. The standard configuration of the import-substituted Superjet, the SJ-100, will be entirely replicated by this third aircraft with tail number 97003. The first production SJ-100 aircraft with tail number 9704 has been powered up, according to the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC. 11 airframes of serial SJ-100 aircraft have been assembled at the Komsomolsk on Amur plant as of early February. After their certification, these will be outfitted with domestic PD-8 engines, onboard systems, and components. Import substituted SJ-100 aircraft with PD-8 engines are expected to be delivered in February 2026. CRET, or the Concern Radio Electronic Technologies, has also manufactured a laser gyroscope instrument for the Superjet program, which has been introduced by Russia. This device is a critical component of nearly all modern aircraft, as it is capable of detecting changes in angular orientation. Laser gyroscopes exhibit a substantially greater degree of sensitivity than mechanical gyroscopes. The unit will be incorporated into the equipment of the import-substituted Superjet SJ-100. Crete specializes in the development of onboard inertial navigation systems, which are essential for contemporary aircraft. These systems are based on laser gyroscopes. These INS systems are superseding conventional navigation systems that are based on mechanical gyroscopes and no longer meet modern standards for accuracy, reliability, durability, and readiness time. This device is either integrated with satellite navigation systems or acts as a complete replacement for them. As far as the MC-21 project is concerned, the Irkutsk Aviation Plant powered up the prototype of the completely import-substituted medium-haul airliner MC-21-310RS with tail number 73057 in early February of this year. It is anticipated that this aircraft with tail number RF-73057, factory number MC-0013, which is equipped with completely domestic components and has a wing composed of Russian composite materials, will conduct its maiden test flight in the summer of this year. Previous reports indicated April 2025, the MC-21-3110 Russ's final design, which replaced foreign components with domestic ones, was finalized in late 2024. The onboard equipment's weight and size increased during this procedure. The state corporation Rostec has stated that the MC-21-310 RS will eventually meet customer specifications as restrictions are progressively lifted during test flights. The initial plan was for the first partially import-substituted MC-21-310 passenger aircraft to take off from the Irkutsk Aviation Plant airfield in late December 2024. Nevertheless, the flight was not conducted. The prototype aircraft, which bears the factory number MC-0012, is equipped with two Russian PD-14 engines, a wing composed of foreign composite materials, 
and numerous domestic onboard systems. Her tail number is 73055. The assembly of MC-21-310 airframes is currently underway at Urquhart Aviation Plant. More than 10 airframes have been built, and they will be subsequently equipped with domestic PD-14 engines, onboard systems, and components after they have been certified. The production of serial MC-21-310 airliners is scheduled to commence in 2026, as per the revised plans. Now, do you think both the aircraft will actually fly this year? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.